It's the beginning of October and it's time to see what's in store. Zara Shop Hop. I didn't hit my head this time. I'm quite relieved. I literally haven't been here. I think I've went twice with Lila for stuff, but I haven't been here to look. We've been looking a little bit for Friday twinning, but when you come in a store, try and have a shopping list. Try and think to yourself, you know, what colors do I not suit? What colors do I suit? Just try and put blinkers on to things you don't suit and shapes that aren't your best. It's much easier to shop. So I'm gonna go with this first. I just thought it's simple, but I think with a belt, it's actually a really nice print. It's a sort of retro 70s print with a little balloon sleeve. You can wear it with some long dangly necklaces. And it's, uh, I think it's what I call Pali silk. 49 quid, okay. They're expanding on that shirt, inspired by Serena Butte, Zara, which also m and are now inspired by Serena Butte. Last season, I think we got yellow Molly, and we got green and white and blue. So now, I would suggest, if you want it to feel like a Serena Butte, get it oversized. You know, so this is an XXL, and it will have a very long sleeve. The problem with these shirts is the sleeve. If you get them extra big, it will work well. And the orange is quite a deep orange, but I love the color. It's more red. Yeah, it's a great color. And obviously the white. And getting it oversized, yes, I would definitely get it oversized. Then it stops being a sort of office shirt and it starts being a cool shirt. So I'm sort of gonna hold on to that for now, Molly. Just thinking for Chloe, yes. if we're gonna do a sort of twinning moment, so we quite like that. I used to get these trousers and you know, they come in every color, but I find they seat, meaning your knees become a bit curved with them and they stretch so much, so I never get the right sizes on them. It's like a, a really bad poly. It's a non-breathable poly. The feathers are back. Look, three different feather options. I don't know if I ever saw that on the catwalk this season, feather options, but that green is a really nice green. I would have loved, though, to see it with a flared trouser. Just would have made it more interesting as a suit. I'm just not sure about this. You can unbutton these. You know, can I just say, have they watched my Instagram recently? <laughs> I have to say, I literally did that a few weeks ago. It's quite funny. But the trouser is stretchy at the back. I love the trousers to be a little bit wider. If though, you're thinking, I like wearing trouser suits, but I want to wear them for fun. This is fun trouser suit, for sure. Did we call this bag in, Molly, for something? No, but I love it. Yeah, I love the color. I just say these are like bucket bags, so they're quite, you know, getting them open and closed. Just the navigation of it and how you hold it and where you put it. I've always found them too complicated. This generally in this store is the kind of part of the store that has fun things. And I'm looking around and I'm feeling it between seasons, Molly, because I feel it's a bit jumpers. They've just been taken out of their packaging, but that to me is like, if it looks this tired already on the hanger, after a couple of washes, it will look so tired that you want to um, give it away or sell it. I wouldn't invest in anything like that. This too, I'm gonna to go over fabrics now. Now, if you look at this, it's not too shiny, all right? And the other side is matte. So to me, it's a better quality than this. Because it's so shiny, it looks cheaper to me. And I think the color's nice, but you know, if I look at the details, the color of that and the color of that, they're two very different things, but that looks so much more a designer item, and this really looks floppy trousers with, it's a nice cohort, but it's not special. This, on the other hand, if you're looking at jumpers, no, it's boring, sorry, it's really, I don't know what, what drove me there. Um, yeah, those trousers, I don't suit this color, but I love the shape of this trouser. It's a trouser that you can wear over a trainer. The fabric of the trouser won't break, it will go straight over like these go over the jeans, these old Zara jeans, by the way, and Sports Max, in case you're asking, and a top I had from Zara. So I love that. Floppy trouser, really nice fabric, will not crease at all, but I just hate the color. It's not a good color, but it's a wonderful color for caramels and really warm skin, hair, and eye combinations. Beautiful color, but not me. A little sequin, and this is a dress. I thought it was the top. You know, and it's a pity, because if it was the top, I'd get it. Not, 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 not. I'm into the idea this season of wearing silk shirts and over sleeveless 
slightly loose um, jumpers with a wide leg trouser. I love that look. And if you get the flow of the fabrics right, it's great. And if the sleeveless jumper ends just at the waist and doesn't pull in the shirt and the shirt's hanging out the trouser, it can look great, but the colors have to be good. That to me though, is too knitted here. But I love the color, Lila would like that. This is a bag that Chloe got, and I was saying we should get. It will just about fit a phone. The color is adorable. Crossbody. It's going to be quite high. It's beaded. It's just pretty. You know, it's like when you want that little bejeweled moment, 32 pounds, and I think it's going to fit a phone. Yeah. And you can get it in pink if you don't like purple. Bags, these ones, they're all right. Nothing special. Nothing special to me. I do love boiled wool. I call this boiled wool. And I like the sleeve. And I think the structure of it could look beautiful. If you had that white shirt underneath and it hung, and you had the little thing. I, let me just try that as a moment. So I'm just seeing if the look that I'm after, you could wear it very clean, but it's very short-waisted. And if you like things like this, but they feel really short-waisted, like this would probably be on me, then the way I'd want to wear it is to have something popping out because it would be too short otherwise, like that. And I kind of love that. I think the colour's beautiful and it does look expensive and I think it's the fabric. And it's also that it looks long enough. If I have this, just for me personally, because I'm five foot ten, if I have it like that, it doesn't look so good. And if I don't have the shirt popping out, it won't look so good. But that is a piece. You know when you want to throw something on and you want it to be more than just a jumper, but like make you feel a little bit cool? I don't think it's great, actually. I love the that layering too, because then you're gonna have that to your waist. Whereas if we had it without something underneath, it would just be a weird length for me. You know, I like that break between all the messiness of the top of a trouser and to have that clean shirt going over it, having a little curve here. Winter coat's gone up another 20 quid, because these used to be 109, 119, and then out 139. Um, for the same coat that we've seen each season. I haven't seen it in navy, this is a size small. Is it navy or black? I think it's black. You think it's black? I'd say it's a really clean coat. Yeah. Sleeves are just about long enough for me. If you're looking for a really nice shape coat, it's good. With coats like this though, with this wool, you'll find that it will attract fluff because the grain of it's quite wide. So you'll sometimes find things come off. So you might need that lint moment. Okay, what have we got over here? I had a very nice uh, shirt, which was a brighter shade than this. This is like a dirty bougainvillea, and it's quite nice, but you know, comes with a skirt, does it? A pencil skirt, that could be a great look. If you're curvy, long-legged, hourglassy, it is a great look. You know, pencil skirt straight, fitted shirt in silk tucking in, it's always a good look for a, a woman, that shape. Okay, red suit. Oh, uh, whilst we're here, some earrings where this is, this is something where Zara should notice this, but already they've hung them with these things that have come out. Every single one of them is broken. That's really bad, actually. I can feel how polyester-y this is. I just wouldn't go for it. This is a better fabric. The pink, if you're looking online, is a better fabric than that red. This is 79 and this is 99. My fingers told me. Then these shoes, which Carla Rockmore you'll see soon has are fab. I don't know how comfortable they are. There's a bit of cushioning. There are a few colors they come in, aren't there, Molly? Because we saw them in turquoise and pink. I think we should get some for 20. Yeah, I really think they're great. So fun, awesome shoe and... Oh, yes. And it's wool. They're a cut and I'm thinking who that cut is best for, Molly, because it's what I call a barrel cut. Slightly wider and then tapers and they're very high-waisted like that. So I don't know who it would suit. I wouldn't wear these because they'd make my legs look shorter. I think if you've got long legs, shorter body could be great, but the color, divine. That has the potential, but just, it on, it just so much. creasy. Yeah. yeah, and the material is just so cheap. Yeah, okay. We're not going there. Oh, we missed a pink jumper. I got this in orange and in green. You know, they're the jumpers that slightly change shape and they pull all over the shop. The color is fabulous. If you get that jumper and you know that jumper, then you'll like the jumper. They're like 20 something quid, 29 quid. 
You see, look, the little things get missed. Really, really plain dress, all right? But have an amazing necklace on that or a white shirt underneath. And it's just a very clean shape if you're a triangle. So if you're broader on your shoulder and narrow on your hip, that's a lovely shaped dress. Clean, simple black dress. Okay. That's a bit boring. That's a nicer fabric. The pink is good. They're really getting into that contrasting, aren't they? The trouser is just straight. So you really want to be wearing it with a high heel underneath without any platform in order for the shoe to point out the bottom. Maybe a sort of nice stiletto would work well with this in a sort of shocking pink, but not an open toed shoe because it's not wide enough. But I think that's a very nice suit. 99 quid jacket. Price have gone up. Bejeweled shirt, sleeve detail. That's actually a beautiful little sleeve, look. Yeah, I do. Let's, I think that's worth trying on. Very pretty. It's whether the collar collapses, you know, around your neck. That's the thing that we need to check here. What do we think? I love the color. It's like Are you thinking blue. it's collapsing a bit? I just would love. To, I don't like a short collar. It's got to be that bit longer. Let me see. But it's not collapsing too much. I actually think that's a really beautiful shirt. Like, looks very expensive. I think it's a lovely, lovely shirt. And it's a great colour. And the sleeve length is good. I'm in a size small, and I've got a little shoulder pad thing on underneath. I mean, we've never seen a very chic raincoat from Zara. Jill Sander. It is a bit Jill Sander. Good call, shout out. Let's have a little try. What do we think? Yeah? I mean, so clean. It is 119. I like the fact that the sleeves are properly long. I like the fact that you can wear it just A-line. My bag's underneath, so that doesn't help it. It feels like it really is waterproof fabric. Yeah, it's cool, very cool. Yeah, you can feel the waterproofness of it. You can feel the fabric's been conditioned, as it were. It's really good. I don't know if we've shown this yet. This is a fabulous dress. This, I think, is nearly the best thing in the shop. Sequin dress, petrol blue, beautiful side bit. 89 pounds and it's ankle length. It's immaculate and you can wear a bra and you just wear a black bra at the back. We love that, don't we? Molly found it. I looked at this and I had actually thought I would order this in to have a look. It's oversized, so I'm gonna go for a small. See what that looks like. I do like it actually. I love a white winter coat. It's ecru, it's not white and not cream. So it will suit the majority of skin tones. The cut is nice, it's like a boucle wool and winter white is one of the most joyful things to wear because you just feel that it's not the doom and gloom of winter. I can't recommend it more. You know how much I love a winter coat in white. This is 119. Nothing is under 100. Okay, so I think these are fabulous, but you've got to be somebody who suits a kitten heel. For me, I have a quite wide calf and I don't have a really small ankle. And my legs are short between my knee and my foot. So this is the worst um, boot I can wear. If you have a really skinny leg, you can't be seen to be toppling on the heel. So it's not for everyone, but as a silver boot goes, I mean, who wouldn't have a silver boot? We talk a lot about the marine jean. So they're high-waisted, sort of ankle crop and wide at the bottom. And they've got them in beige this year. I think they're the same as, yeah, it's the marine straight. That's where that jean is from. I want to have a bit of Prada, but I can't bag. Also a bit of a Fendi baguette shape. I love it because it's silver and it's clean shape. It will fit all the necessities. Well, there's a scratch right on the back <laughs> of it, so that tells you everything. But you know, Prada is uh, Prada is a hundred times the price of that bag. A hundred times the price of that bag. And once it's closed, it's clean and you really can't tell. So I think that might be going in our shopping bag. It's like a smock dress moment. It's that day you want to just envelop yourself in a wide dress. I like the little white stitching, cotton. Quite nice. Yeah, exactly. Chilled. It's more actually, Molly, like sort of early summer. Okay, this is an interesting boot. I actually want to try this boot on. If you were wearing them and you had really good legs and a mini skirt, and a mini skirt I think you can do the scrunch. Yeah. Okay. So if I just like pretend I've had some surgery on my knees and I pull them off, and you get the feeling of somebody wearing a mini just for a squint your eyes moment, <laughs> then I think you're right. It would be cool. But if you wore a skirt with it like that, 
it becomes a bit Wellington bootish. I still, I don't mind them, Molly. Hmm. Okay, I'm glad I tried them. This is something, are we bored of this shape? You know, it's been going on for so long. It's the shape of a Balmain jacket. But the thing about Balmain is they always cut well for a woman. And Zara have echoed this silhouette ever since Balmain became mainstream in terms of it was sort of over for high fashion people. But there is something really eternally flattering about this kind of blazer because the buttons give you an emphasis on your waist when maybe you don't have it. And I just think that it's a really good shaped jacket. I'm in a size small, but I like that. Yeah, I've got shoulder pads in, but we can still tell. You can just look on the hanger, it's a really good shoulder. And I would wear this like with a blue jean and a white shirt, or sometimes when you wear tweed, it's really nice to wear neons with it. It sort of amplifies the tweed to something that's uh, not so classic. So I think that is a good little investment. I also saw Molly a little bit of velvet. Every year, I used to get a velvet suit from Zara, and I've actually got rid of most of them now, so I don't know why I'm still looking. Velvet, at some stage in one's life, makes you feel you're turning into your mum, who wore the velvet jacket on a Sunday to have lunch with her family, kind of velvet jacket. If you are that woman too, I'm sorry. First of all, the sleeves are way too short for me. And I would say for most people, unless you're up to five foot five, they will feel too short. I think that's a mistake that they've made them that short. It's a nice velvet. They always do a nice velvet. It's like a, a fake silk velvet, but it, it's not a cotton velvet. So, And then the trouser this season is a nice wide leg side fastener, high waisted. So as a look, a velvet suit can look really elegant and cool. But I think that as I have been ruthless this year on looking at what I stop wearing and when I put it into a rail to things to get rid of. I have that so in the back of my mind that when I'm looking now, I look at something I'm always drawn to and I think, but that I got rid of, I'm not going back there. So it's a way for us to shop fast fashion, but sustainably, because buy things that you're not gonna wear five times. Buy things that you can imagine you will have in your life for like 10 years. Really, if you can try and think like that, it changes your perception of how you buy, it changes how you wear your wardrobe, it changes so many things. And I think we need to feel more responsible. When I read people buy some things and wear them once, I'm like, it's not great. You know, we've all been there, but we could do it less. That's I'm, I'm saying this to myself. I know I can do it less. Okay, let's move on. Nah, I'm just like nothing inspiring. I just want to, find things that I think, wow, that's so inspiring. So I always find as I go further south down here, it becomes more teenager -y too. Mustn't forget my bags. I think when you look at it from afar, it looks nice, but when you pick it up, it feels really cheap. Now this is this kind of carpeted area. And there is a designer I bought many years ago called Narcisco Rodriguez. And he's done a collection for Zara. He was really well known. He's shown in New York and he was really well known for black. So he's never been my favorite designer. But I did have one or two things years ago. But basically, this collection is black and white. So we'll just have a look at it. You know, a little short sleeve turtleneck, 89 pounds. A kind of dress made of wool gabardine, so nice fabric, 159 pounds. But the design is incredibly dull. Then we've got a very sort of plain, simple bustier. Let me guess, I think it should be like 49 pounds, 79 pounds. A silk dress cut on the bias in panels. So beautiful, flowy, it will curve into your back. It won't just kind of have that uncomfortableness around your bum. It will sort of cover your body, but not contain it. 179 pounds, skirt, silk. This is gonna be probably then 100 pounds, I should think. 99 pounds and on we go. But everything is black. The trousers, you know, nice shape, yes, but they're 109 pounds. That's actually quite nice. That's a bustier with this on top. That's actually, I think, the nicest piece. A little peekaboo moment. I should think that's, no, it's one piece, 89 pounds. I know what it goes, white dress. Oh no, white jumpsuit. I think if you're short legged, long bodied, you're gonna look shorter legged and longer bodied, but if you're long legged and short bodied, it could be nice. Okay, that was Narciso Rodriguez for you and shoes as well. I'm gonna try it. I know you're looking at it, Molly, thinking, mm. but I know, I know, I'm just gonna try it. I don't know if it's hideous or nice, okay? I don't know, I just like... There's something. It's interesting. 
I don't know who road. it's for. It's a road. The definitive words from Molly, who is an amazingly fantastic monitor <laughs> when I shop. Trini, it's a bathrobe. But I agree. But sometimes we need to try to realize that. I love this kind of sequin. I have a top like this. I can't remember. But that's a really nice piece. Actually, I'm just going to put it on. So I'm going to do a medium because I don't want it to be too tight. I want it to be a sort of looser piece. It is short, so it's something that would maybe look good with a layered piece underneath. It's just so short. Yeah. You know, that's a pity. As a little bit of something, a little schnuffle underneath. Lila, yeah, could be fun for Lila. But I do still think the neckline, once I got rid of the mic and stuff, I think it's a little layering piece. It's nice. I love it. Let's just uh, style it up. 29 pounds. I sort of think that, you know, a little sleeveless gilet, something underneath like this, it adds another layer to how you look at your clothing and your wardrobe. And if it was just you were doing a gilet with a jumper, it's one thing, but this just makes it elevated. And so having things in your wardrobe like this for, I think it's 29 or 49, that elevate your whole wardrobe is a good investment. It's a very flattering color for skin tone. As Molly just found, snuckling away, a nice pair of silver stilettos if you're a stiletto person. The heel does start here, so if you have a cankle like me and it doesn't go in at the back, that's not a good heel. You're better to have a heel that comes straight down from the back of the shoe. But if you have a slim ankle, this is so this is cool, really cool. Okay, let's keep going. So let's go over here. I'm always drawn to this colour blue. And I always get a nice blue shirt every season from Zara. And that could be my little blue shirt for I the season. That I know that feels I don't older. Know, it's it feels like Yeah. Yeah, a bit grandma, and this is kind of fresh and just such a nice color. Yeah, they always do this color. So I'm going to try that. I'll just put it on now, actually, see which size I should get. It does a little bit. You know, all the, yeah, for those of you who follow and do like that Essentials shirt, this could be the one we could have as an alternative. So I'm in a size small. It's, it's a really nice, easy shirt. And I think you're totally right, Molly. This little detail is so much nicer on this than the silk one that we saw before. The sleeves are a tiny bit short, so I have gone for medium. If I went for small, the sleeves would be too short. This is in what is Zara Basic, but this jacket feels a much better quality than the other ones we've been looking at. It's 79, it's less, but oddly, it feels nicer. Maybe because the color is very good. It's that mulberry shade and straight trouser, but there's something I like about it. And it doesn't feel bad when you pick it up. Pretty little shirt. Yeah, nice little cuff detail, little pearl button. Yeah, it's nice that. 29 pounds, that's actually really good. That's also incredibly pretty. That is so pretty. I'm gonna try it on because I think it, Sometimes this is where you get your finds. You get those shirts that you have for years and you love and they cost you $29.99. And um, you can keep them. I've had shirts like this I've kept for 10 years. So cost for wear is good and feeling more sustainable. So I'll see what the sizing's like. The one thing I will say is that I think over a certain age you have to really question whether you wear chiffon. So I'm very happy today that I've got my white shirt underneath because I don't like chiffony clothes anymore and that's one thing I had on my rail I had a lot of clothes that were chiffon so would I actually get this or would I always wear it with something underneath and have my sleeve the sleeve is way too short actually that's yeah. the first thing I can just feel that but it's a really pretty shirt really? yeah such a pretty shirt so if chiffon has not passed you by or you don't feel you're over chiffon it's good and if you are five foot eight and above the sleeves are going to be too short that is good yeah so Molly had seen this bag ages ago and this is kind of, in a way, an inspiration for my bag from, I think it should have, oh yes, it has got in the other one, a little alternative way of wearing it like that. I think that's great. Really cute bag. Could be one of the best things in the shop. Do you notice all the things we're really loving are just kind of sequiny and stuff, but it's very good. And then if you wore it like that, a little bit of breakage already, so check what you're buying. We love a Zara belt, a little corset belt good on many shapes, hourglasses, everything, just, you They've know. They've never done it that thick behind us. At the back. Yeah, they always yeah. have some weird elastic or something. Yeah, they do. 
This is 90, they'll probably come in 80 and 75, 80 and 90, or 80 and 80, 85 and 90, so that's the biggest size. I think they look nicest when you do like a sort of blues or shirt, which is really thin fabric, and then it's whisked up in this, or you put it over a dress that's got boring for you, and it has some softness of the fabric, so when you winch in, there isn't a stiffness around the belt, but really great. I would probably wear an 80 in that. I kind of think we've got to the end now because it's the colors are becoming a bit drudgy and I feel we're just in that lull before the sort of party wear and fun clothes come in. So this is that first little moment of Zara. I'll do another one probably in a few weeks to just get into what they're doing that is inspiring us most. But at the moment, it's been those coats, a bit of sequin and some accessories. Till next time.